The model that we're looking at was created to analyse overland flows resulting from the failure of a stormwater network in a small town. In the centre of the view space you can see the main street. There are houses on either side and also shops and retail units. When it rains, stormwater overflows are initially held in the upstream area of the network, but once the flow capacity is exceeded they come down the road and re-enter the network at the bottom of the model. We can see all this happening by replaying that as a simulation in InfoWorks ICM. If we look at the top of the network, we'll start to see the overland flows coming down and they are initially held by a uh, flood retention device. However, once those devices are overspilt, then the waters continue down the main street, flooding the properties, particularly in the area to just, just bottom centre of the screen. But after that, they come past and are subsequently removed by a uh, small storage device and pumping station, which is located at the very bottom of the network. Eventually, after a number of hours, the uh, flows are removed from the network and everything returns to normal. So that's just a quick example of InfoWorks ICM being used to model overland flows in a small town network with uh, roadways acting as flow carriers.